I am lately into headphones as you might have saw in my videos and as I had so much good experiences with the last final audio EVA or Evangelion branded headphone I thought maybe I try out the wired one the EVA 2020 final 3D headset which cost me a lot less than the true wireless one and yeah I want to do an unboxing and review of this so let's get started so here the unboxing of the Phi e EVA 2020 from Final Audio these are the wired EVA 2020 headsets which are a lot cheaper than the true wireless in-ears these are earphones for 3D audio as you can see here and uh, done by Final Audio so what can we see on the packaging it is in the Neon Genesis Evangelion style like before and we see some specs here on the back so the specifications as you can read here phi eva 2020 16 ohms 98 decibel 12 grams 1.2 meter cable and the manufacturer as well and there's the my final lab which is only available in japanese currently and it's part of the eva or evangelion 2020 lineup so let's get this thing unboxed we have a flap here that we can open up and then we can get the thing out of here i hope yep this is one way definitely to open it up and you can see that i can pull them out here and this is what you get in the box basically so let's put the box apart uh, away i mean and put this plastic wrap out of here out of the way and you can see here a nice presentation the earbuds itself and some other replacement earbuds with different color coding you can see blue is large red is small and uh, white i think is medium and this is uh, a little bit smaller than medium uh, yeah those are these and there's of course an instruction booklet a warranty card it is only because you don't need users manual is also here so please download the user manual available in eight different languages uh, downloaded from a website and the rest here is in different languages as well so they assume that you know how to use and operate headphones so let's take them out to take a closer look at them so they're wrapped in plastic which is pretty nice and as you can see here the earbud itself has um, the EVA 2020 written on it I think it's medium sized earbud it reminds me a little bit of the sony ones that have a similar design when it comes to the silicone ear tip and yeah otherwise they look like a bullet and yeah i can get rid of the wrapping somehow to free them to show you the logo a bit better there you can see eva 2020 it's electrostatic well, sticky there we go EVA 2020 here we can see the earbud there also final audio this is the cable and there's a final audio logo here at the back as well when it comes to the cable it is a rubber band as you can see here it has some connector here which also I think has a microphone is it a microphone or just a holder I don't think it has a microphone no it doesn't have a microphone it's just for listening to music you can also see it here from the plug as you can see here the plug looks a lot like the EVA Evangelion Neon Genesis Evangelion plug for the power cord for the F uh, for the Evangelions or the for the EVAs and you can see there's a two ring so that means it's only for listening to music there's no microphone attached to it yeah then the cable itself has a little cable holder here which is nice because uh, you can use this to bind them together and yeah it's pretty long one meter 20 i think it's a standard width of the cable and i just wanted to check out this is a cable holder yeah i can like close them up together want to check out if they have the same length yeah so it's not over the neck one one part over the neck or something like this so yeah this is 
pretty much everything in terms of unboxing for uh, the EVA 2020 3D. This is also how they are called. Uh, the cable headset from Final Audio. And I will test it out and tell you if these are so surprising and good in terms of quality like the true wireless headsets that impressed me very much. When it comes to wearing those headphones here, the EVA 2020 Final 3D, there are two possibilities. So you have the possibility to wear them like normal in-ears, I would just say the Game Boy style, you take them like this and then put them in your ear like this and then drop them in here and there. But there's another option, a far more convenient option, because this option you see you have the cable dangling down here and when I'm just moving the cable here, just move around in the garden or something like this, I can clearly hear the cable noises going into my ear and this might be a little bit distracting for you. So my tip of the day is just put them over your ear, leave them hanging like this, maybe a little bit less and then put them into your ear like this. Let me show it on the other side as well. Put it on your ear, hanging like this, and then put them in your ear canal like this. And now you have like this kind of extra support that your ear gives here. And this helps a lot. So if I move around now and have this dangling around, I have almost no noises at all, which is I think pretty cool. And also I think they fit with this method a little bit better. At least what I did is uh, I tried them out a few days with the standard medium-sized ear tips that came with those. But then I also changed them to the white ones, which are I think a little bit larger. I'm not sure if this is the first large version of the headphone uh, the ear tip or if it's, the, it's at least the one with this white ring and it's not the small one, maybe it's a little bit pinkish ring and those fit me a little bit better. Uh, they are only a slight difference in size comparing to the medium one, but they fit so much better and you get so much better sound out of them. And you can also see um, that the ear tip itself has a very unique shape some shape that I only saw with Sony headphones so far and that is very very good and talking about Sony headphones and this is maybe also the interesting part from in terms of sound and sound quality they sound almost the same as my Sony uh, MH1s or MH750s or 755s now some people will say ah they the M7, MH750 and MH755 and MH1s, they sound all different. No, I would say they, I would put them in one category and I would put them in between this category as uh, being on the same level in terms of quality. It's just nuances different uh, to the MH1s, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a very good headset for this. But let's talk a little bit more about sound in my detailed review about this. Another thing I really, really like with these headphones is this uh, adapter, as you can see here, and the form. It is not like a normal L shape. It has the form of the anime itself, the, the electro plug, uh, or yeah, the electro plug, basically. The interesting thing about this is if you plug it into your phone, you have enough space still to get your hand there. To hold and support your phone like this and this is I think a very very great design and yeah it gives you some security even if I hold my phone like this and press against this because this part here is hard and durable I don't have the feeling that I'm destroying the cable or something like this which is pretty cool so I was a bit skeptical when seeing this because I was like eh, it looks a bit flimsy but the design is actually pretty cool and makes sense so they are yeah, it's a reason why they chose this design because it looks very, very durable and maybe it is even durable. So yeah, this is also a nice little detail that I had to mention in this video, of course. Before we talk about the sound quality of those, I'm wearing them right now, as you can see here. And 
the wear comfort is something that I missed out completely because you don't feel them almost because it's plastic built so it's very very lightweight and if you have them in your ear if you have the right ear tips like I told you to track check really check them out then you don't have any pressure on your ear the only thing that you notice when wearing them is like you forget that you are wearing them and at one point if you start talking you notice then your own voice being <laughs> muffled or you don't hear anything of your surroundings so much so this is what yeah is a bit of surprising in in one way that he that those little things can see you so well and they are little the cable is a very good one as you can see here it is um, not maybe not the best one but for the price class it's like it's a non-tangling one so I never had problems with untangling them or had like uh, some kind of knot inside of them and I have to like untangle them and something like this no it's a very good cable for this you don't have a microphone so maybe not ideal for a smartphone when the call comes you have to plug them out to be able to talk mm, or maybe the smartphones are intelligent enough to notice that there's no microphone in the headphone I'm not so sure about that but um, keep that in mind and you don't have the possibility to replace the cable they're very lightweight they fit very good for my ears and uh, this is I think very important that you have a good fitting uh, almost non-intrusive headphone so you get like bigger headphones uh, that go into your ear uh, monitors I think they are called that are sitting inside of your ear like the EVA 2020's true wireless that are a bit bigger of course of the battery and so on but you can get this kind of design also with uh, a cable attached but these are more yeah it's they're almost hidden when I put them in my ear uh, and they're hiding in my ears basically you don't feel them and this is I think a good design I like this very much I have to say and now let's jump to the sound quality without breaking the microphone so um, sound quality sound quality wise they are in the same league I would say as my Sony MH1 MH750 MH75 they have the typical V shape so we have this kind of graph the highs are not as high as I would prefer it I have to say I would prefer it a little bit higher so the overall sound stage and the overall yeah sound mode or the overall sound feeling is a warm one so you get like this warm sound and the elevated bass gives a bit of punch it's not as punchy as the EVA 2020 true wireless ones but there's still a bit of punch I would say even a bit more punch than the Sony MH1s or MH750s the MH755 are almost the same as the 750s but you can correct me in the comment section if you think otherwise um, so it's in this category the highs are not as high something's wrong with the highs is what I uh, have in my mind when I'm listening to something it's it, the crispiness is missing and what what is missing there what what is a bit weird is the why there's 3d in the name of the EVA 2020 final 3Ds because I think they're somehow in the middle in the midst they're going down a bit this usually helps with, with, with the bass a bit of course also with the highs but in this case it's not really helping with the highs so there's some frequency where it's going down a bit and I don't really like this so much I have to say even after listening for a few days now and tried to tr try to try it again try to compare with, with other headphones no I don't really like the sound signature so much but if you like the sound signature and you don't want to pay maybe the extra cost for the Evangelion branding the anime branding here on those headphones you can get almost the same with the uh, final audio E2000s they have a very similar sound um, signature basically they have a bit better quality because this is plastic they're a bit heavier then uh, and I think they have aluminium on the E2000 I only have the E2000 like a few hours only to test them out but the sound signature is almost the same maybe here we have more elevated bass and maybe just a little bit less highs than on the e2000s but in general yeah it's a warm it's a mainstream audio signature that you can get with the final EVA 2020 3D and 
yeah it's not bad so if you are an anime fan and want good wireless headphone and you don't want to spend like the 15 euros or 10 euros that you pay for the mh1s or the mh750s which by the way have a far less build quality this is like more sophisticated than them and also the cable is more sophisticated than them so if you are willing to sacrifice a little bit on sound quality in regards to MH1, MH750, 70, 755, but still want to have like in the same ballpark a good sound quality for average music consumption than the EVA 2020 Final 3D. Um, they could come up with an easier name, I thought they uh, are a good pair of headsets for this kind of things. What do you think? You can write down in the comment section Did you try these out? Have you tried out the E2000s? Is my description similar to the 2000s that you have just write it down in the comment section otherwise if you like this video click on the like button share it with friends and don't forget to subscribe it helps independent reviews and such like these and of course in future the option to get more review devices from me that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye